What's up, family? I want to conclude our series on finding balanced living, um, joy, peace, and happiness. Um, this has been a three-part series. Um, the first part we talked about, man, it was the most important part. Man, do you have the right wisdom? Do you have the right understanding? Do you have the right perspective of life? Do you have the right perspective of the things that you've gone through, the things that you're going through? Is your perspective on point? Um, second part we talked about was, man, your conduct, how you live your life. Is your life in accordance with joy, peace, and happiness? You know what I mean? Or do you live your life? Is there things in your life that's detrimental? The joy, peace, and happiness, and balanced living. You know, how are you living your life? How do you make your money? How do you treat people? How do you treat yourself? That's all part of your conduct. This last part, we're going to talk about, man, um, your discipline. Your discipline. Are you disciplined? To have joy, peace, and happiness. Are you disciplined to be able to have balanced living? And see this part right here. Um, and each part is broken down into little segments. You know what I mean? Um, the first part, man, do you have the right um, the right view? You know what I mean? Is your view right? Is your understanding right? Is your perspective right? You know. Second part, man, your conduct is: do you have right speech? Do you have right action? Do you have the right livelihood? The way you make your money. Your attitude towards money. You know what I mean? Are you willing to sell out? Just to get ahead. You know, this last part. Um, your um man, brain fart. Your discipline. You know, um, do you have the um right effort? Do you have the right mindfulness? Do you have the right concentration? And that's what we're going to talk about today. Man, is your effort right? Are you focused mindfulness? Are you focused on the right things? What is your mind? What is your mind? What are you concentrating on? What are you concentrating on? See, so many of us we tend to dwell on the negative stuff in life. You can't have positive a positive outcome. You can't have balanced living. You can't have, you know, joy, peace, and happiness. And all you're focused on is, man, being a freaking victim. You can't have balanced living. You can't have joy, peace, and happiness if all you keep thinking about is how somebody dogged you out. How somebody got over you. How somebody broke your heart. What's on your mind? I tell people all the time, and this goes back to the first perspective, or the first segment, you know, um, the right view, the right understanding. And that, that everything is always working out for us. Everything is always working out for us. And when you really get into, get in alignment with that frequency, when you really come to understand that, man, as a child of God, man, everything's always working out for me. I may not understand it. I may not see it right now because of the hell that I'm going through. Everything around me is chaotic. Everything around me is painful and suffering. And, woo -doo -doo. and that's all I see at this moment. But I have to have the understanding, no matter how dark the storm is, no matter how bad the wind is blowing, no matter how much rain is falling, the light is going to come out at the end. Man, the stars are going to shine again. The storm isn't going to last. It's going to pass. you got to have the right mind frame. I'm not going to go through this storm the rest of my life. There's a season for this. This too shall pass. Everything is always working out for me. 
I may not understand it, but all the rain, all the dark, the cold, the loneliness, man, they're teaching me something about me. They're teaching me something about life that I didn't understand before. And so when I have that frame of mind that everything is always working, man, I can sit back, relax, and just wait, just weather the storm. Why? Because I ain't got to fight the storm. The storm isn't meant for you to go out there and start rebuking it and casting all that other stupid shit we do. No, sit back and relax. The battle's already been fought. The battle's already won. The battle just hasn't been won in your mind, in your life. Oh, we're going there today. We're going there, I promise you. Just laying the foundation. And that's why we don't have any joy. That's why we don't have any balanced living. That's why we don't have any peace. That's why we ain't happy. And I'm always intrigued by Christians who talk about Jesus, Yahshua, coming and dying on a cross some 2,000 years ago. And he conquered sin. He conquered all this stuff. And yet they still ain't got no fucking peace. Yet they still don't know who the hell they are. Yet they still ain't got balanced living. How do you talk about a man coming, your savior, who came 2,000 years ago to overcome evil, to overcome your pain and your suffering? And yet you still ain't got peace with that fact. We're going there today. I'm not a Christian. I don't claim to be a Christian. I don't want to be a Christian. <laughs> but I'm intrigued by the story. And what I mean, I'm intrigued by the story. I'm intrigued by the fact that how can you say you believe something? How can you say that you believe that Jesus, Joshua, died for your sin? But yet, and he overcame the devil some 2,000 years ago. And yet you're still fighting that same fucking fight. Yet you still struggle with evil. Yet you still ain't got no peace. You don't know who the fuck you are. You don't know, how, you have no clue why you go through what you go through. We have to grow up. We have to grow up. Right mindfulness. Not right mindfulness, excuse me. Um, right concentration. See, because I believe and I know with every fiber of my being that everything is always working out for me, man, I don't get worried. I don't trip out. I don't stress out over the future. I don't stress out over what I don't have. Why? Because it always works out for me. I ain't got the trip off of it. And that's what all the crap that I've gone through has had to show me. Elijah, because you've gone through all that stuff, oh, this is what I learned from all that. Man, all the stuff that, man, I didn't die going through that. It didn't kill me. It didn't destroy me. All it did, yeah, I got hurt. I got broken hearted. I felt lonely. I felt disrespected. I felt abandoned and we'll do it going through the process. But now that I've come out of the process, I'm able to understand. I'm able to see, man, yes, I was suffered while there. But I gained an insight that I didn't have before. And now that I have that insight, now that I have that knowledge, now that I have that understanding, man, now when I go through things, I don't go through them near as long. Why? Because my understanding is, man, is good. It's good. I don't have to wake out. And because my understanding is right, my actions are right. My concentration, what I focus on is right. 
It's like being on a path in the jungle. And it's dark. And you're trying to navigate your way through the jungle. And there's no light. And so you're just walking around trying to feel your way through. You don't know the path. You're trying to feel your way through. And so you're falling over this and you're walking into the bushes and the trees and all kinds of other pitfalls and things because you don't know the way through. Stay with me. I'm going somewhere. But then you go through that enough. You start learning. Man, stop moving by your fucking feelings. You start growing up and start saying, okay, hold on, wait a minute. It don't matter what I think or in regards to why I'm going through this. I got to grow the fuck up. I got to get in alignment and say, okay, what's the real reason? Because my ego will have me tripping thinking I'm going through this and that because of my victim. These motherfuckers don't know me and they try me and da-da-da-da, all this other stupid shit. And that takes us off on a whole different path, tangent. A whole nother fucking rabbit hole. We're wasting time going down. And so, when you've done that enough, you've bumped your head enough, you've fallen enough, you get to the point, it's like, okay, now I gotta trust my intuition. Fuck my ego, I gotta trust my intuition. And it's not by how you feel. That's ego. And so now you know some stuff because you've done this plenty of times. And so now I can sit back. It's like, okay. <sighs> I know I don't know what's around me. It's dark. I hear all these animal sounds and I don't know what type of animals they are. And man, it sounds creepy and scary and I see eyes in the darkness and things are looking at me and I don't know what they are. Okay, so I'm going to take my focus off of that. Because the reality, that's a distraction. That's to keep me stuck in fear, in my ego, on the wrong frequency, with the wrong thoughts. See how everything's all intermingles, all interchanged. Stay with me. I'm going somewhere. What, what I mean by that? The first part, the right perspective, the right understanding. See, now I'm down here in the third part. I got to have the right view. I got to have the right perspective. I have to have the right understanding. Even down here in the third part, you have to have the right understanding, the right perspective to live right. They have the right speech. They have the right action. You have to have the right perspective, the right understanding. And this third part, your discipline. You have to have the right understanding. You have to have the right perspective. They have the right fault. So now I'm in this darkness. And my focus is no longer on what's surrounding me. I'm not distracted by the bullshit no more. I'm not distracted by my circumstances. I know I'm poor financially. I know I ain't got a job right now. I know I don't have the money to cover my rent right now. I know I don't have enough food right now. But that's all circumstantial. Right perspective is, uh, this ain't going to kill me. This ain't going to destroy me. Everything is always working out for me. I just got to be on the right frequency. So now, because I've grown through the things I've gone through, now my concentration is, man, Everything's always working out for me. I'm good. I'm not just good. I'm great. Why? Because I know that this is going to work out for me too. I don't have to focus on my circumstances. 
See, by focusing on my circumstances, that's robbing me of my peace, joy, and happiness. By focusing on my circumstances, I get distracted. By focusing on my circumstances, I lower my vibration. I lower my frequency. Now, I'm no longer tapped into the frequency that everything is always working out for me. Now, I'm on the frequency of lack. Now, I'm on the frequency of fear. What is your concentration? What are you focused on? What are you focused on? Are you focused on the fact that you ain't got enough money? Are you focused on the fact that, man, you don't know how things are going to work out? What you think about, you bring about. Let's say it again. Right concentration. Man, my frequency is right. I'm on the right frequency. I'm relaxed. I'm going with the flow. Because I know it's all good. It's working out for me. I ain't got to fight it. I don't have to resist it. It's all good. That eliminates stress. That eliminates worry. That destroys fear and doubt. We have to grow up. We have to grow up. We have to grow up. Stop focusing on what you don't want. And that's what we do. That's what we do. That's what we naturally do. We want happiness. We want joy. We want peace. We want balanced living. But the truth is, we're focused on the things that are robbing us of that joy of that happiness, of that peace. And because that's what we're concentrating on, that's what we're focused on, that's what the universe gives us more of. That's what we manifest more of. We manifest more lack. We manifest more worry, more doubt, more fear. More distraction. We have to grow up. We have to learn to control our mind and stop allowing our mind to dictate our life. That again. You have to learn how to control your ego. Because your ego will have you fucked up. Your ego will have you playing victim. Your ego will have you living in fear, living in lack, living in worry. I made a video the other day talking about, man, I don't, I don't worry about my kids. I don't. I love my kids. I have seven kids. Five grandkids. I don't worry about them. I don't. And what I mean by that, I want all my kids are grown. Man, it's their life. They, can't, they may not make the decisions I want them to make. They may not make the choices I want them to make. They're not here to make the choices that I want them to make. They're here to learn and live life. And to grow up and be the best that they could be and deal with their stuff. Not live for me. And so I know that 
everything's always working out for me. And because I know that everything's always working out for me, I know that everything's always working out for everybody else too when they get on the right frequency. I know everything's always working out for everybody else too when they tap into God and universal consciousness. And they start growing the fuck up. They start learning the lessons. And if they don't want to learn the lessons, okay, so be it. To each their own. But I don't worry about them. Because I'm tapped in. I'm on the right frequency. I choose to live my life on the right frequency. On the frequency of balanced living. On the frequency of joy, peace, and happiness. And I do that by the things, how I live my life. I do that by being, having the right perspectives. I do that by focusing on the right stuff. I see all the chaos out there. I hear some of the bullshit out there. I don't get caught up into it. I don't focus on it. I don't dwell on it. I'm not oblivious that it's there. I, I know people die every day. I know people get robbed, raped, and killed every motherfucking day. I can't control that. I can't stop that. Why am I going to fucking focus on that? Just like there's people getting robbed, killed, and, and raped every fucking day. There's people being blessed every fucking day, too. There's people coming into that aha moment every day, too. There's people waking up from comas every day, too. There's people coming into their own every day, too. There's people doing beautiful things and creating beautiful things. Every day, too. There's people encouraging and inspiring and uplifting other people. Every day, too. There's people holding the doors, or holding the trains, or holding a cab. For people every day, too. There's people carrying bags for other people, too. There's people pouring out financially into other people every day, too. What is your focus? What are you focused on? I tell people how much I love traveling. And that, man, how it's my plan to travel even more. Even more. You, you know what I mean? Because I love traveling. I love meeting new people. I love seeing new cultures. Stay with me. You're still on topic. And people are like, man, there's too much going on in the world. Man, there's this chaos and that, and that, and that. It's like, I don't focus on that bullshit. That's low vibration. That's low frequency shit. I don't get caught up on that. Why? Because everything's always working out for me. The saying again. In, in, in Christianity, they have said all things work together for the good to them that love, to them that are called according to his purpose and called that love him and all this other stuff. I can't remember exactly right now, but there's that saying. Same saying, just different words. All things work together for the good. Everything is always working out for me. Same thing, means the exact same thing. So if everything's always working out for me, why am I going to be fearful of what could happen? What might happen? What has a 1% chance of happening? See, we got to grow the fuck up. You could get in a car wreck today, too. That don't stop you from driving. 
You could get struck down by lightning today, too. That don't stop you from walking your ass outside. You could choke on your fucking food. That don't stop you from fucking eating. Same thing. We have to grow the fuck up. We have to change our perspective. We have to change what we focus on. You want peace? You want joy? You want happiness? That's your responsibility. And it's not about the material shit. It's not about where you're at physically. That's all circumstantial. It's about you. Do you have the right mind frame? Do you have the right understanding? Do you have the right perspective? Are you in alignment with source, God, the universe, the most high? Are you in alignment with joy? Are you in alignment with peace? Are you in alignment with happiness? All these things are frequencies. They're frequencies. Are you tapped into the right frequency? See, you can't be tapped into that frequency living your life that's contrary to that frequency. You can't be tapped into love, joy, peace, and happiness, and you're tapped into hate, and you're living your life, and all you focus on is how you got dogged out, and you hate this motherfucker because they did it, and all this other stupid, ignorant ass shit. You can't have joy, peace, and happiness plugged into that negative shit. You can't have joy, peace, and happiness constantly listening to and entertaining negative, toxic-ass shit. You can't have joy, peace, and happiness and constantly doing destructive shit. You can't have joy, peace, and happiness constantly focus on the wrong stuff. We have to grow up. We have to grow up. I see many of us, we get so fucking stuck on stupid that if we hear something that goes against what we believe, we automatically dismiss it because it, that's not the religious belief I have. That's not the belief that I have. And so you don't even listen to the wisdom of it. You don't even entertain man, whether this is the right frequency and is here to help you grow the fuck up. And so you automatically dismiss it because it goes against what you think you already fucking know. And this is why I talk a lot in generality. See, this path of having a balanced life, this path of finding joy, peace, and happiness has been known to the world for thousands of years. Thousands of years. Africans taught it, Hindus taught it, Buddhists taught it, Buddhists teach that it's the Eightfold Path. Native Americans have taught it. But for some fucking reason, Christians have this understanding that all you got to do is pray to Jesus. All you got to do is have Jesus into your life and you're going to have joy, peace, and happiness. You're going to have balanced living because you got the quote-unquote Holy Spirit. I was brought up in Christianity. 
and the great majority of the people, the Christians that I know, still do not have joy, peace, and happiness. Still don't. Still ain't living balanced. Because they don't want to listen to anything that's not in the Bible. They don't want to hear anything that comes from Native American culture, the African culture, the Hindu culture, the Chinese culture. Because it's not biblical. And even the Bible says, meditate on these things. Meditate on these things. And there's certain things that the Bible's telling you to meditate on. And where does that stuff come from? It comes from the African culture. It comes from the Hindu culture. The Indian culture. The Native American culture. The Chinese teachings. The Asian teachings, put it that way, because some of it is Japanese. But for some reason, a lot of us in America, if it ain't American, it ain't right. And again, to each your own, to each their own. Do you, do you. But we have to grow up. We have to grow up emotionally. We have to grow up spiritually. And if you want balanced living, if you want joy, happiness, and peace of mind, you're going to have to grow up and change your fucking perspective. You're going to have to grow up and change how you live your life. You're going to have to grow up and change the shit that you focus on, the shit that you entertain. That's your responsibility. I love you guys. Happy healing.